A Labrador Retriever is a hunting dog that originated in Newfoundland. It is one of the most popular dog breeds in the world, especially in the western part of the world. Labrador Retrievers are easily recognizable by their large floppy ears and broad heads. In addition, they possess several endearing traits. Labrador Retrievers are intelligent, highly trainable, and have a desire to help and support their owners. They also make good family dogs as they always want to be around people and socialize well with other dog breeds. Labrador Retrievers are prone to obesity if not given proper diet and exercise. The Labrador Retriever is a medium to hunting or hunting dog. It is one of the most popular dog breeds in the world. The Labrador Retrievers come in three colors, black, brown, and yellow. It has its origins in Newfoundland or what is now known as Newfoundland and Labrador, a province of Canada. Labrador Retrievers have double coats or two layers of fur. Suitable for service dogs as they are loyal and trustworthy, they are often trained to help people with disabilities. Also, Labrador Retrievers have soft mouths that allow them to pick things up for their owners without hurting them. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell, because a large number of people who watch the channel are not subscribed, so don't miss the upcoming wonderful daily videos. Let's continue. Labrador Retrievers are good swimmers. Labrador Retrievers are webbed, two or more toes fused together, which makes them good swimmers, its webbed fingers double as snowshoes in cold weather. In fact, this prevents snow from accumulating between your toes. One of the most common problems in Labrador Retrievers is hip or elbow dysplasia. To joint problems, including hip or elbow dysplasia. Hip or elbow dysplasia is a genetic condition that affects the hip and elbow joints and can be caused by obesity and a lack of exercise. While it's not completely preventable, Labrador Retrievers are less likely to develop this condition if they maintain a healthy weight and eat quality foods rich in vitamins and nutrients. A Labrador Retriever is susceptible to an ear infection. Labrador Retrievers are prone to ear infections because their large floppy ears are a breeding ground for bacteria. Keeping them clean and dry is important to prevent ear infections. Always remove excess ear hair and look for signs of infection. Labrador Retrievers shed all year round. Shedding is another well-known characteristic of Labrador Retrievers. They shed a small amount of hair throughout the year, but gain it during the shedding or shedding season. In addition, Labrador Retrievers shed their winter fur in the spring or undercoat to prepare for the warmer months. The Labrador Retriever was the first dog to appear on the cover of Life magazine. The popular American magazine Life magazine featured the first dog on the cover on December 12, 1938. Life magazine featured a Labrador Retriever named Blind of Arden, owned by W. Avril Harriman, a resident of New York State. Labrador Retrievers are descended from an extinct breed. The Labrador Retriever's ancestor is the St. John's Water Dog, an extinct breed of dog. The St. John's Spaniel helped fishermen in Newfoundland. His water-resistant coat and short-haired temperament were perfect for the job. Helper was one of the oldest known Labrador Retrievers. One of the oldest known Labrador Retrievers is Helper, who was born in August 1936 and died in November 1963 at the age of 27 years and 3 months. Adjutant lived in Lincolnshire, UK and regardless of breed, she was the seventh oldest bitch in history. A Labrador Retriever can give birth twice a year. In general, a Labrador bitch can conceive any time she goes into heat. They can give birth twice a year and have a gestation period of approximately 63 days from conception, although the gestation period can vary by several days. Labrador retrievers now reach sexual maturity between 18 and 24 months. They were almost extinct by the 18th century. Did you know that Labrador retrievers almost disappeared in the 18th century? During the 18th century, Newfoundland imposed heavy taxes on dogs and limited one dog per household. The laws should encourage people to raise sheep and prevent dogs from becoming a threat. Some sources claimed that the importation of dogs was banned during this period. And don't forget to watch the previous videos in the channel.
And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch the upcoming wonderful videos. See you again in the next video.